NASA is saying the Voyager 2 probe is now in a space between the stars. And finally, NASA on a Tuesday said that it has found a heartbeat signal. Voyager 2, one of humanity's most remarkable interstellar emissaries, had been sailing silently through the deep black of space for over four decades. Launched in 1977, this spacecraft carried with it the ambition of an entire species, designed to pierce the vastness beyond our solar system and return whispers of the cosmic unknown. For years, it had faithfully sent back data as it drifted farther from Earth than any human-made object aside from its sibling, Voyager 1. Yet, on a recent day that marked a historic and chilling moment in space exploration, Voyager 2 transmitted a final signal, an eerie, enigmatic broadcast that seemed to confirm what many had quietly dreaded for years. That the silence of deep space isn't empty, that something waits, or watches, just beyond the reach of our comprehension. Before we start, smash the like and subscribe buttons for more updates. The final transmission was brief, but its implications were anything but. For those monitoring Voyager 2 from NASA's Deep Space Network, the initial signal spike triggered a routine analysis. At first, it appeared to be just another transmission, faint and distant, weakened by the nearly 20 billion kilometers it had traveled. But as the data packets were decrypted, a pattern emerged. The signal did not resemble any of the standard formats used by Voyager 2. It wasn't a diagnostic ping or a sensor update, it was something else. Fragmented data, irregular frequencies, and then, disturbingly, an abrupt cessation. Not a fade, not a power down, a hard stop, as though something had severed the stream at its source with deliberate finality. What truly unsettled the engineering and scientific teams wasn't the shutdown itself. After all, Voyager 2 had long outlived its expected operational life. What rattled them was what came immediately before the end. Embedded in the transmission was a frequency drift that did not match any known cosmic interference. It was artificial, intelligent even. The onboard instruments had detected a sudden change in the surrounding electromagnetic environment. A spike, sharp and localized, indicating something in the immediate vicinity, had emitted a powerful burst of radiation. Not a star, not a quasar. This signature had a level of precision and modulation that bore the unmistakable fingerprint of intent. The idea that Voyager 2 could have encountered an artifact or entity in deep space was once relegated to the realm of science fiction. But the parameters of the final signal seemed to contradict every expected outcome. There were no mechanical failures in the data logs leading up to the anomaly. The spacecraft systems had been operating nominally its trajectory stable, its instruments reporting the same empty stillness of interstellar space that it had been sailing through for years. Then, within a span of less than three seconds, everything changed. Instruments registered a proximity alert. Then came an unexplained orientation shift and finally silence. This wasn't a gradual drift into the cold void, nor a battery failure or decay event. The precision of the shutdown, coupled with the signal spike, suggested an encounter. The notion that Voyager 2 might have come across an unknown entity or structure, something that could register its presence and react, was no longer just speculative fear. It had leapt into the realm of data-supported possibility, and that possibility brought with it a deeply unsettling realization. We are not alone, and we were not meant to reach beyond a certain boundary. For decades, the idea of a cosmic frontier has been romanticized. Voyager 2's golden record, a symbolic message in a bottle, represented our species' hopeful gesture to any who might find it. But there was always an undercurrent of fear in that hope. What if that message wasn't met with curiosity or peace, but with warning? What if there were barriers not meant to be crossed, regions of space watched, or even guarded by forces far beyond our understanding? The final transmission, in its abruptness and encoded anomalies, suggested the existence of such a threshold. Something had noticed Voyager 2 and responded. The configuration of the radiation burst was not random. Analysts, poring over the data with feverish urgency, noticed that the frequency modulation resembled known encryption techniques. Not in format, but in concept. It was as though the signal had been manipulated in such a way as to intentionally obfuscate its origin while still conveying a distinct pattern. A pattern that spoke of control, of agency, and perhaps even of surveillance. 
Adding to the growing unease was the fact that Voyager 2 had only just passed beyond what scientists loosely term the heliopause, the boundary where the sun's solar wind is no longer strong enough to push against the interstellar medium. Beyond that line, space becomes even more mysterious. It's a region untouched by the sun's warmth, where the rules may change, and where ancient cosmic forces hold sway. It is here, in this no man's land of silence and shadow, that Voyager 2 met its end. The implications are vast and unnerving. If Voyager 2 was disabled or intercepted, then it stands to reason that its presence was not merely noticed, but understood. Something out there had the capacity not just to detect, but to act, and with precision. The radiation burst was not destructive in the conventional sense, but it effectively neutralized the craft's ability to function. That level of restraint suggests a purpose beyond simple defense. It implies assessment, examination, a decision made, and then executed. The fear that this transmission confirmed isn't rooted in paranoia, but in the stark logic of deep space probability. If an intelligent force exists beyond the heliopause and it chose to act upon our vessel, then Earth itself has been noticed. We are no longer a distant blue dot broadcasting into the darkness without reply. We are now a data point, filed away in an unknown ledger, our technological tendrils brushed away as if overstepping an invisible line. What disturbed the experts further was the possible timeline. If something intercepted Voyager 2, then it did so at a scale and speed inconceivable with our current understanding of physics. The distance and time required to reach such an object, analyze it and shut it down, if done by a material entity, would imply an infrastructure or presence already established in that region of space. Alternatively, if the response was instantaneous or even predictive, then it suggests capabilities well beyond human comprehension. The quiet consensus among a select group of astrophysicists and mission analysts is that this final act may not have been an isolated incident. If Voyager 2 was interfered with, then Voyager 1 and any future interstellar probes could face the same fate. The cosmos might not be an open sea, but a curated domain. And like trespassers entering a sacred temple, we may have triggered a silent protocol. The kind not built to communicate, but to deter. There is also the deeper, more chilling possibility that we have already crossed paths with the edge of an ancient system, one designed not to welcome, but to warn. Perhaps the universe is seeded with checkpoints, with mechanisms that awaken only when probed by unfamiliar hands. Voyager the 2nd of May have tripped one such node, a sentinel, a remnant, or something still very much aware. The fear, long buried under layers of scientific optimism, has now been dragged into the open. What if our search for contact was never a mutual endeavor? What if the void, long thought empty, has simply been quiet because it is observing? The abrupt end of Voyager 2's mission, marked by an anomaly so alien and deliberate, lends weight to the idea that the universe's silence is not a lack of voice, but a deliberate hush. A tension before a storm, a warning wrapped in quiet. The data from Voyager 2's final moments is now secured, buried under layers of classification. Only fragments have been shared with the wider scientific community, and even those are sanitized. But those who saw the unfiltered transmission, those who stared at the data long enough, carry the same haunted look, the same question they dare not speak aloud. Did we just cross a line that should never have been crossed? Speculation grows in closed circles. Some propose that the burst wasn't an attack or even a warning, but a message, one not meant for humans at all. Perhaps the shutdown of Voyager 2 was an automated function of a boundary defense system, a cosmic firewall. If so, then Earth has not been invaded, but cataloged, listed, its presence filed away in a cosmic index. And if that's true, then the next steps might not be ours to make. For decades, the message carried aboard Voyager 2 spoke of peace, curiosity, and our place in the cosmos, but it also revealed our location, our biology, our mathematics, our essence. We sent it all, hoping that something or some one kind might find it. But we never asked if such contact would be safe. Now, in the wake of Voyager 2's mysterious silence, we're left with the possibility that the universe is not just indifferent, but patrolled, managed. This final act, this termination of a decades-long mission, has cast a long shadow over the future of deep space exploration. The fear it confirms is not just that we're being watched, but that we were never supposed to be here in the first place. 
The silence after the signal now feels less like a void and more like a presence. One that watched us reach out, waited, and then answered. Not with words, but with erasure. Voyager 2's final transmission is now a grim monument to that moment. A digital scream into the abyss, clipped short by a hand we cannot see. It echoes a truth older than language, that some doors once opened cannot be closed, and some thresholds once crossed may never let us return. If you liked this video, please give it a like and subscribe to our channel. Also, leave your comments below and tell us, what are your thoughts on Voyager 2's final transmission? What do you expect next? We want to hear from you. Thank you for watching and see you next time.